Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC, and today we're going to tackle a range hood in Mosaic software from scratch. And we're going to do one that has a concave front to it. It's going to be fully parametric. We're going to put a cutout in the back. We're going to miter all of these pieces together. And the coolest part is you can see here it says curve front panel to cut. Well, let's turn that on and take a look at it. And there it is. And so we're actually going to show how to make a pre-mitered, pre-curved panel straight off your machine to fit this curve. And you'll be able to assemble this right off your CNC. Let's do it. All right, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. Uh, this is part one of two, uh, so we'll get about halfway through the build and then we'll uh, show the rest on the second video. So uh, we're gonna start from scratch here. We're gonna drag a wall pair door uh, cabinet into the room and we're gonna go ahead and edit that. We'll call this uh, concave front uh, range hood. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a 36 inch wide hood, 36 inches tall, and we'll say 22 deep. And uh, when I save this to the library, I'm actually gonna take the height and the depth stretching off. That way it'll always come in at 36 tall and 22 deep, and then I can change it from there if I, if I need to. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'll make this uh, bigger so we can see it here, is I do not want uh, doors on the front. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go to shape here. I'm gonna click on the front and I'm gonna go ahead and go to finished end. And you can see that converted that to a, uh, a finished end there. And now I also don't want a top on this assembly. And the way that I'm gonna do this, I'm also gonna get rid of the bottom. I'm actually gonna build this to fit the liner uh, that I want, uh, but you could keep the bottom uh, if you'd like to. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to parts to build and I'm gonna uncheck the top and the bottom. Go ahead and press okay. And there you go. You can see I've, I've got an open uh, assembly now. All right. So I'm going to keep uh, the back the way it is. And if your back doesn't look like this and you want it to look like, uh, look like this, excuse me, we can go here to select product parameters. And we're going to go to backs. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the back finished end joint, these are finished ends, uh, is case depth like so. And then if you want to control this uh, rabbit here, we can also do that with the parameter in the dados category called back into ends right there. And so I would actually make that a little shallower. And there we go, an eighth inch rabbit uh, for us to make that joint. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a couple parameters here in the uh, parameters tab, and I'm going to make three of them. The first one is going to be the front apron height. So how tall this kind of front apron section is. So we're going to call that FAH front apron height. And we'll start out at six inches there. The next thing I'm going to put in here is this distance right here, essentially the distance or the depth uh, at the top of the range hood. So I'm going to call that DAT depth at top of hood, we'll say 12 inches. And then the last piece is uh, once we've got this tapered here, we're gonna add a bulge to get that uh, concave shape here. And so we're gonna call this HB uh, hood bulge, and this is what's gonna control the, the concave shape. So we'll start with, I don't know, 1.5. Okay, so we're gonna call back to these three parameters now as we modify these parts. So we're gonna go over to the parts tab. And you can see here, I've got two things called finished and right. Well, really one of these is the front panel. And you can see that here. So I'm gonna quick rename that so I know what that is. We're gonna call this front apron. There we go. Okay, so let's start with the left end. Now we need to edit the shape to get the concave uh, shape there. So let's go ahead and press edit. And we'll edit the shape. And so what I need to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and add a point. 
And in the X direction, I want this point to be my front apron height. So I can go ahead and call our front apron height parameter that we made to do that. And on this point here, I actually want this to be up uh, from zero by uh, DAT, that parameter I made, distance at top, or depth at top, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. And there's the 12. And now on this line segment, if I click on it, I have the ability to add the bulge parameter uh, that we made as well. Now, we actually need a negative bulge number to make this shape go in here. So I'm going to put 0 minus our HB, our hood bulge parameter. And there it is. You can see we've defined that concave shape, and now it's fully parametric. So we can go change those parameters, and the shape will change. So we can go ahead and press OK there, and there you can see it. So let's go ahead, while it's fresh in our minds, and go do it on the right side here. I'm going to go and go to Edit and shape and we will add a point here on this line and in the x direction we will change that to fah our apron height there and this point we're going to go ahead and do part w which is the full width of the part minus the depth at the top of the hood and that will go ahead and get us you can see 12 inches right there which is what we want and now again we're going to click on the line and go ahead and put in zero minus hb our hood bulge parameter and there it is the matching shape on the right side all right and press ok now the next part is i want to shorten uh, this front apron down to our apron height and so we're going to go ahead and click on that one there go ahead and press edit and now that's actually a the length of that part. And I'm ultimately going to make this out of MDF, so I'm not super concerned about width and length here for in terms of grain direction. So we're going to go ahead and go to length. And I'm going to type in FAH, our apron height. Press OK. There we go. Pretty quickly got to, uh, you know, a shape that, that's starting to look like our hood. So we'll press OK there. I think at this time, I'm going to go ahead and, and just check the parametric nature of this. So we should be able to change any of these. There it is, 10 inch high. Should be able to change the depth just fine. And there it is. Cool. And we should be able to change the bulge. There we go. So, so far, so good. Okay, now the last piece before I stop for part two of the video is I actually wanna add this curved panel in here and we're actually gonna make this parametric and have this, this radius panel in here. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the parts tab and we're gonna go ahead and add our own custom part. We're gonna call this concave front panel. And afterwards, I'm gonna put visual. And the reason is, is this simply is going to be a visual part. And then I'm going to show you how to make the uh, hidden part uh, that actually has the kerfing and the miters in it uh, that you'll actually use to assemble the hood. So this is strictly for visual. Okay. Uh, for type, I'm going to go ahead and not pick finished end. And I'm going to pick finished exterior. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, we're going to go ahead then in the length direction. And... We need to put actually the, uh, it's gonna be a little hard to explain here. We need to put in the hypotenuse of this particular triangle here, right? So we have, we know this distance from our parameters and we also know this distance and what we need is this distance right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into length and I'm gonna type in a square root with three parentheses and one of them is the depth minus the depth at the top squared and to do that we have to multiply them by each other plus the height of the hood minus the apron height a lot of parentheses but there we go go ahead and press test that looks looks right and after that the width here we're going to put the finished end thickness plus the bulge 
Now, this is a little confusing. You're going to see in a second why this works out here. So there's our part down there. Doesn't look anything like our panel yet. We're going to go here and go to Edit Shape. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually kind of recreate the cross section of this panel. And so for this bulge here, we're going to go ahead and put HB. For these points, we're going to actually drop the Y down to the FN thickness on both sides. There we go. And now on this part, we're going to go ahead and go bulge 0 minus HB. And you can see how we essentially recreated a cross section of what that curved panel uh, should look like. I'm going to go ahead and press OK there and press OK. And you can see it. There it is down there. But obviously, if we were to, to rotate this up, it's not the width of the hood yet. And so I've shown this trick in another video, but this is a really kind of advanced uh, trick to get Mosaic to do uh, curved items well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close this. And I'm going to make a material here in my libraries under board stock. And I'm going to call it concave hood panel. And we'll just fill this out like any normal new material. But in the thickness here, I'm actually going to type in the width of my hood. And this is what's going to trick Mosaic into making that curve panel for us. And so I know my hood is 36 wide, and I'm actually going to type in 36 as the thickness of this material. And you'll see how that works out in a second. I'm going to press OK. It's going to ask me. It seems too thick. It is correct. Yes. OK. Now I'm going to make a material template specifically for this hood. So I'm going to go to Libraries and Material Templates. Under Cabinet Parts, I'm going to go ahead and call uh, make a new one. Call it Concave uh, Range Hood. OK. Now the part types that I'm using, Finished End, I'm, like I mentioned, I want those to be MDF. Uh, we do have a back on that, and I'll just make that out of three-quarter plywood. And you remember, I made that curved panel out of something called Finished Exterior. And so for Finished Exterior, I want to go ahead and grab that board stock that I made, concave hood panel, that's 36 inches uh, thick in essence. But really what's going to do is going to make this panel 36 wide. We'll press OK there. I'm going to go into my hood and press Edit. And on the Info tab, I'm going to tell it to use that material template right here for this hood. Concave range hood. And there it is. You can see that uh, panel popped up. We'll go ahead and view product. And there it is, full width. Now we just got to get the position right. So let's go ahead and go to Parts. I've got my panel selected. Let's go ahead and press edit. And we're going to change the 3D position of that panel. So the first change we're going to do is about the Y axis. And I'm going to go ahead and go to negative 90, which will flip it to the left there. There it is. And from there, you can see we need to go up in the Z direction by the apron height, which we called FAH. We need to go to the right in the X direction by the full width of the hood. And there it is. And now we just got to get our rotation right so that it sits back uh, into the hood. And so that's going to be a rotation about X. And we're going to do some trigonometry here. We need this to be a negative angle. So we're going to go 0 minus the arc tangent of... Uh, the opposite side of that angle, which is essentially this part right here, uh, over the adjacent side, which is the height of the hood minus the apron height. And so what we'll do here is the full depth of the hood minus the depth at top of hood divided by the height of the hood minus the front apron height. And that right there should give us the perfect angle that we need. And there it is. So that's going to conclude part one. You can see we've essentially made the shape. It is curved, looks nice. And so far, 
it is fully parametric. You can see how we can change anything now. And even our curve panel looks great. All right, we'll see you at part two, and we'll finish this up.